What's going on guys? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to Roblox Fire Alarm Inspection number 49. We are back after three long weeks of not having any videos on this channel. Uh, I'm going to try to get in the grind of posting daily if not at least often. But you know it's been three weeks but we're back with a Roblox Fire Alarm Inspection video. Which is Roblox Fire Alarm Inspection video number 49. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it. And yeah, the last video I did on this little mall that I made was, I think the last system in here was the System Sensor L series low frequency alarms. But we're back here again, major changes has happened. First off, of course, we're still using the firelight system, panels the same, every panel's the same, all that stuff. The only issue with the panel is for some odd reason it goes into trouble because apparently quote unquote the voice evacuation act or whatever is damaged in game because of this, this script or whatever that I will have to go back and figure out on my own it really thankfully it's not gonna bug me because the panel doesn't have audio because the audio of these so yeah so yeah um, but that's gonna bug me, and I hate that. Okay, yeah, give me, sorry about that, y'all. I was not expecting the panel to go into trouble. So, yeah, the system that we have so far, most of the systems in here, in this whole area, is System Sensor L Series Voice Evac. System Sensor L Series Voice Evac Speaker Strobes. And then the shops and all that stuff is system sensor L3 strobes only. Just panels the same, firelight and all that stuff. Right here we have, I believe, a BG5. A BG5, I believe. You guys let me know in the comments what this pull station is. And yeah, and these blue alarms, we have these Shintech Commander 3s, but these are basically kind of acting as police alarms or uh, a security alarm. Which is um, operated by this multi-com panel. Okay. And then of course we have a simplex key operated pool station to activate those. So I will show you. I will demonstrate that too. Over here we're going to the warehouse. I believe I changed those alarms. I think I did. So in the warehouse. Um, same thing. System sensor L series. Uh, this one right here is just a speaker strobe only. Not the speaker strobe, but just the speaker only. Over here is the speaker strobes, red edition, and then the white one. White edition's over here. And I'm gonna actually speed myself to make get this so we can get through this faster. Uh, we get into the clothing shop right here. I added another alarm, uh, a simplex alert speaker strobe. And of course, in here, I think y'all saw it last video. Uh, have a simplex and nuts heater, but if you didn't see it, here it is. And we also added um, simplex trailer speaker strobes in the shop. We have two of them in here, and we have AED kits as well. We walk over here, we have an expansion as well. We expanded the building more. Up here, we have system sensor L series speaker strobe ceiling mounted. And we go into our little fire alert, well, sort of museums of work in progress. Uh, we have a multi-com annunciator. And in here we have, for the fire alarms, we'll lock MTs. I don't know what tone to set to, but you'll have to hear it. So, yeah. Uh, for the guys that are chit chattering, and we're going to get into the system. I'm going to activate the BG5. And yeah, here we go. Please. A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please 
please leave the building by the nearest exit. Do not use the elevators. Set to chime. So I'm gonna shut that off. Yeah, it just will not shut up. So there you go. Set to chime. The Willock and Teaser set to chime tone. Now we're gonna get to the final part of the video, and we're gonna test the police alarms, aka the security system. Well, not actual security system, but you know, just kind of. All that stuff and all I gotta do is simply use the fire alarm panel key to activate this since it's key operated. All the alarms are set to chime. And we have one in the warehouse bay area, which is up there. You can't, you can't really see the strobe because it's really high, unless I lift the camera up some. Now I'm going to turn it off. Alrighty guys, so that's going to wrap it up for Robots Fire Alarm Inspection number 49. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, we did hit our goal. We did hit 300 subs. We hit 300 subs, so appreciate all the love and support for you guys. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing these videos and all that stuff, but you guys had got me to 300 subs, so thank you guys so much. Uh, I don't know when the next video is coming out, but Roblox Fire Alarm Inspection number 50 it's going to be coming out pretty soon. That's going to be a special system test. I, I don't want to spoil the surprise. But thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah. Peace.